So I'm selling this car and I'm getting ready to take another round of pictures, get it listed again, but this steering wheel cover is an absolute eyesore. You guys are right, I should fix it. So today we're gonna pull the steering wheel out, get this trim off, repaint it, and we're gonna fix it, and then we're gonna post some more pictures and then we're gonna try to sell it. Start with disconnecting the battery because we're gonna be messing with the airbag and we don't want that popping in our face. There's a hole here and a hole here on the back side of the steering wheel. You gotta take a long screwdriver and you gotta push in there's a resistant spring in there that holds the airbag in place. There's one side. There we go. Okay, got the airbag out. And for the airbag, just lift up on these connectors with a pocket screwdriver. Airbag is out. This is what the steering wheel looks like with the airbag removed. We have our center bolt and then these are the spring clips that hold the airbag in. So that's what you're trying to reach into with the screwdriver through the backside. Let's disconnect this one and this one here. So with these two disconnected, our steering wheel should be able to come off. Now this steering wheel is keyed. You can see that little notch right there with the notch down below. So just keep that in mind when you're reinstalling. Now this thing should come off. Voila. Okay, now we need to release this screw, this screw, and these two on the rear. Forgot to record, but I got these two screws taken out and these two are loose. Now it looks like there's some clips in here. four of them okay nice and that wire came disconnected when we just pulled it out so that's going to be this white plug right here, which just came out when I pulled the trim, but that's going to clip back in and give us our power to our buttons. So now we need to separate this lower trim from the top trim, which should be these four screws right here. Ball torques for the win. Nice. Now we need to clean this thing up. Now we should sand it down and then we'll hit it with some paint. What I'm gonna sand this down with, I do not know yet. I don't have much for sandpaper, but I got some old 500 grit, so let's see if uh, that'll do the trick. No, I'm gonna go up the street and grab some sandpaper real quick and I'll be back. And we're back. I got some 220, some 400, some 1000, and some grease and wax remover by Dupacolor. I was gonna use acetone, but acetone likes to melt plastic. So this stuff says it's good for plastic. All right. Time for some cleaner. All right, I'm gonna be using some Dupacolor trim and bumper paint. I figured it would have good adhesion to the plastic. It might be a bit too shiny, but we'll spray it and we'll see, who knows? Could turn out great, could be horrific. We'll find out. I'm calling an audible. I found some Krylon satin black and I'm gonna spray this over the top. I'm not too happy with this finish so far. I think this will look a little bit better. Oh yeah. It's looking pretty glossy right now, but I'm hoping that'll dole out. I'm gonna take a lunch break and we'll recheck. All right guys, so I had some lunch and let this thing cure. There's definitely some good paint drips over here on the left side and this came out far too glossy. I started with this Dupacolor trim paint, but 
it didn't spray that well and I uh, wasn't too satisfied with the finish. So I tested out this satin black on top, way too glossy. So I just picked up, I just picked up some Krylon flat black. So I'm gonna try to sand down these drip marks and then go over it again with some flat black real quick. See if we can fix this thing because this is a very flat finish and that does not match well at all right now. So we're gonna try to get a little closer. It is the next day and we are back. Check out the finish. I am very happy I switched over to the flat black Krylon. Much better finish than the satin. There's a little bit of blemishes down here, a little bit of drip over here, but all in all it came out really good. So let's get this back on the wheel, see how she looks. Hey, that is a pretty close match. Look at that. So we're getting this steering wheel trim put back together. I just made a YouTube short about this, but I did notice that these torque screws right down under here are impossible to hit with a traditional torque socket or a stubby. But was, what does work really well for me is these ball torques. I have this quarter inch ball torque socket set by VIM. It's a bit more expensive, but what I will do is I'll put a link for more like an Allen wrench style, uh, cheaper option in the description for you. But I'm able to slip it down inside of this bracket and still get a good purchase. And I can get this ball torx to go in from an off angle, which is really hard to do if you don't have a ball torx. All right. Steering wheel is back together and that trim looks pretty damn good. Pretty happy with it. Let's get this steering wheel back on. Remember to line up that notch with the steering wheel. Make sure that's dead on. Then we can plug our steering angle sensor back in. Right here, right here. These two will be for our airbag. Okay, and then this, just get it lined up. And she's back. Feels good. Trim looks great. I'd say that is a big improvement on the steering wheel trim. That Krylon flat black did a great job matching actually. Look at that. It's fantastic. Now, like I said in my ISTA video, I want to be able to share repair instructions with you guys as much as possible. So these are the repair instructions for removing the airbag. Take a screenshot of the video if you'd like. This covers placing the screwdriver in to release those springs. These are a picture of the springs. This is of the airbag connectors on the rear. And then these, this is the outlay of the screws and the clips, and this is the way that the trim disconnects, and that should be about all the information you need on this one. So I hope this is helpful. Big shout out to all my viewers for recommending that I paint that steering wheel trim. Definitely looks a lot better sitting in the driver's seat. I hope you guys enjoyed, or I hope you learned something new, and I hope those ISTA repair instructions were helpful if you want to tackle the job for yourself. I got some new content coming this week, so stay tuned, and I will see you on my next day off. Cheers.